Hi everyone. Why do black women refuse to accept a submissive position with a black man in a marital relationship? There's an idea that women of other racial groups are submissive before their husbands compared to a black woman. When we come to that conclusion, something that we must take into account is that the enormous influence that slavery had on the mentality of black women who never felt protected by the black man before the mistreatment of the slave owners. The woman, whether circumstance or need for survival, learned to assume a masculine role in raising children as the head of the family, which is why it is difficult for black women to assume a posture of submission to a black man from whom they not feel supported, much less protected. This type of anti-submission attitude from black women is another reason why some black women are not considered wife material, regardless of the root of the problem. The term submission is something that has been interpreted when talking about a relationship between a black man and a black woman when we talk about a woman being submissive to her husband, which means that both the man and the woman know which is their role in the marital relationship, where both complement each other. When we talk about submission, we must understand that a relationship must be the head of the family and a patriarchal society Culturally, the man is the one who assumes that position and who must make the most important decisions when it comes to the general well-being of the family. Product of slavery, black women do not trust the decision-making of black men, who have always been absent when it comes to raising children, during the slave system and right now. No one doubts that religious belief within the community is partly responsible when many black women in the name of their faith for decades endured the abuse of their husbands which was one of the reasons why during the decades of the 40s and 50s, before the implementation of civil rights laws, which saw black women as equal to men, the woman, because of her religious faith, demanded that they should be submissive to their husband, was mistreated, despised, and not respected by her husband, and expecting the unconditional submission of a black woman who does not deserve it to a black man is a fantasy. In a marital relationship, we must make a difference between a submissive woman and a weak woman. Some women, when they enter a marital relationship, have a false idea about the meaning of these two different types of behavior. A woman can be strong and at the same time be submissive to her husband. A woman who is being verbally or physically abused by her man does not have to be submissive to that man simply by being in a marital relationship in which she is being abused. This is not submission, this is weakness. Many women have the idea that being submissive gives the man total control over the woman in what she does, says, wishes, and expects from her partner. Submission is associated with the role that everyone plays within the marriage. While weakness has to do with control, it is one thing that a woman who treats his man well and respects her should never be seen as a weak woman. What do black men really want from a woman? Historically, it has been understood that no matter what society we are talking about, Women expect men to be providers and women administrators of what men provide. Men act based on what they think and women act on what they feel. In a marital relationship, what the man thinks is important and what the woman feels is necessary to create harmony in the marriage. But right now, too many black women are being controlled by the worst of emotions, something black men are not willing to accept. Maybe that's why so many people don't consider black women wife material because many of them are considered emotionally damaged. The woman needs to feel validated, wanted, and protected while the man needs to be supported and respected. Many have the idea that men only look for sex and company in a woman who makes them feel satisfied and important socially. But this is another myth associated with the marital relationship between men that really has no foundation. Both the man and the woman need their most fundamental needs to be satisfied when they enter into a marital relationship. When one of the two does not feel that their needs are not taken into account, it results in the couple conflicts that we all know which ends in a separation. Why don't black men respect black women? When you look at the over-sexualized behavior of black women, black women who have multiple children with different fathers and black women who have sex simply for the sake of it are some of the reasons why many men have no respect for black women. If you want as a woman to be respected by a man and be considered as a marital wife, the black woman must have respect for herself if she wants other men to respect her. Historically, we blame slavery on the promiscuous behavior of some black women. But at this moment, 
What is the reason behind this behavior which damages the image of black women and reaffirms some of the stereotypes associated with the behavior of black women? Let's be honest. No man wants to financially support other men's children, which is why a woman with several children from different fathers is not considered a marital wife. In the same way, a woman who sleeps with all men with many men is not considered wife material. That's one of the reasons you see a lot of black women single because they're just not considered spouse material. A woman who has slept with too many men also falls into that category. How important is the black man's ability to produce money when choosing a partner? Right now, from my point of view, this could be the most important element when you see so many single black women, either because they have too many children without a father, live on federal assistant plans, or have behavior considered promiscuous when opening the leg to everyone which decreases the chance of being taken into account by a black man who wishes to have a wife. We must also mention this type of woman who is considered to be independent who does not need a man. This is where the ability of the black man to be the provider in the home and no man wants his authority to be questioned by his wife. Many men do not have the sufficient capacity to produce money to support the economic demand of a home, either because they earn a low salary or because they are part of a long list of unemployed within the black community. Many black men do not have the necessary technical ability or educational level to get a job that pays enough to be the breadwinner that a black family demands. Add that to the fact that many black men have a criminal record which also creates an obstacle for them when it comes to getting a job. This lack of black men with good jobs is another of the reasons why we observe that black women are not considered wife material, since black men do not have the resources to pay the economic demands of a marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this type of work, please subscribe to this channel, leave your comments, and share this type of video.